Aw, my first Transformers autograph. Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys. So welcome to the fourth video of the series. So we're going to start doing the Sauces Gone quest after I get myself some more backpack space. So I'm just collecting some more and I'm going to try to finish using it all up so I can die and just revive without having to eat any food. That'll save me some more time as well. So first of all, once you have enough money, I sold all the fish I'd fished out and I sold a lot of the gems I'd mined out. So I'm going to buy myself some backpack space. So you got one space and I got two sets of spaces. So now I'm up to 30 slots. Now I'm going to go and mine some more so that I can also get more backpack space. And then I have to get myself a garden plot. So I'm going to go and get a whole bunch of gems and that's how I'm going to quickly earn some money. I think the yellow ones are worth 200 bucks a piece. Then you have the blue ones worth like 346 or 26 bucks a piece. Then you have the purple ones worth 600 bucks a piece. Then the green ones are worth 800 bucks for each of them. Then your red ones are worth 1,200 bucks for each of them. And you get four of them. Unless someone else drops in and steals it, then good luck. <laughs> and some people I know also use an auto clicker. So that's another thing you can try out. Keep on mining till we find some stuff. As you can see, we have hit some blue gems, so that would be 346 bucks a pop. So that times four, if you can get all four gems to yourself, then you click on them to pick them up. People will come down and drop in on your hard work of mining away and clicking away, and these are like the second rarest gems, and Look at how many people are here trying to steal away all my work. So this is where it gets frustrating and really sad when this happens. Like, there are so many other places they could mine, but they have to drop in on someone else's work. And also, as you can tell, no one's clicking anything. They're not doing any of the work. I'm the one who's clicking everything and doing all the work, and they're just going to come in and steal everything. There are like three or four people here now. Like, oh my goodness. And as you can see, I got no greens. I helped and I got nothing out of it. Anyways, let's get out of here now because it's really hard to go back up. So as you can tell, my bag space is almost full. That's why I want to get even more bag spaces so I can I don't have to keep going up over and over again. Drop. Look at how much money I just made right now. Gonna... Module has reached a critical limit and is being paused. And then it has resumed. So while it's being paused, nothing of yours, no time goes by. So none of this drops and that also timing doesn't change either. And then it does it to make sure that the room doesn't crash, so sometimes it just has to keep doing that to make sure of that, so yep, let's max out our backpack slots now. Boom. Basically, if you want to fish some more, like you have a quest or something, and you don't have enough energy, and you don't want to wait for the bar to go up, you can drink some sodas. This will give you 30 more points, while this will give you 15 more. So you basically click it, and then you click eat. As you can see, mine increased a little bit, but that's not enough for me. So let's click it and eat Coca-Cola as well. So there we go. 58 more, so I can easily fish 5. Actually, I'll be able to fish 6 more times, so while I'm waiting for this to die out as well. The maze remains the same for one whole day, and it'll change every like real-life day. But the maze will be the same, and the maps, aka like the kind of- oops, <laughs> the secret boat shop. And basically the placement of the crystals and stuff is going to be the same on each map, each different My City room, for the same day. Okay, so I got myself all the space I could possibly have, which is 45 slots, and I've filled it up with fishes and gems, so I have enough money for myself as well, and I'm good on my energy bar and my food meter. So let's start quest number four. Do you want to eat some pizza? Well, I've got news for you. Today earlier, I've started making some pizzas, but I noticed that all the sauce is gone. So the quest is called the sauce is gone for that reason. I tried to buy some tomatoes in the market, but apparently they don't sell it. Hmm. I started to live in this town a few weeks ago, and I don't know anyone that can help me. So please, can you help me? I just need the sauce to open my pizzeria. Okay, alright, so now we have to go to the island. We will be needing some money to buy ourselves some seeds, so I might as well sell all my fishes for now. A seed costs only $50, so just one of these fishes would have been good enough. It tells you down here how much it costs. But I'm just going to sell everything because I need to get 
$4,000 I believe to buy myself a garden which is also necessary for this quest. As you can see here it shows you the pricing of, pricing of each of them so you can keep that in mind. Some of these items can also be used to make some food which will be useful for quest number 5 so I saved a couple of fishes which they will ask us to make stew and a burger out of these fishes so I saved them up for later use. Let's go to the seed store. The seed store is actually at the further end, which has equally as odd timings as that potion shop does. So it opens in the late afternoon and closes by evening time. So I'm, okay, only buy one random seed because it's going to ask you to come back to the shop again to buy another random seed. You need buy one. Now it's going to tell you, go to your house. It assumes that you've already bought a house or basically you'll have to go and buy a house now. Since if your house was on the other side, it's okay. You don't have to go all the way back. You can come and put your house over here now says plant a seed in your garden you'll need to use a garden for that let's see what offers you have today okay those are your offers for today so okay okay so I need to get some money doesn't matter how many seeds you have every time you click drop it, it decreases it by two points so a pool costs two thousand dollars and a garden costs four thousand dollars in your land plot aka your house but the pool is really useless you can't even swim in the pool seed in your house so two Make some modifications, you click on this house button right there, click on build mode, and here you click on change placed furniture, which is that item, change expansion, so you can buy a pool for 2000 totally useless, it has a ground covering over that, so I don't get the point, garden, which is very useful, expansion, buy a garden plot, and I'm done. Now it says I have to plant a seed in your house, so I will take the seed, use it, plant it. Now it's going to tell me harvest a tomato plant. This will not necessarily be a tomato plant. You'll have to do a few random seeds to get a tomato plant. In case you already have a seed from before that you've saved up, I can use it and just plant it here. I plant it in my second garden there. And basically just wants us to harvest the tomato plant. It's going to do the same thing again for the wheat one. So I kept my wheat seed there just in case we need it. Meanwhile, you just have to wait for that plant to grow. Make sure that you've actually placed your house down somewhere else. This will not grow. It is actually best if you become a farmer before you harvest these plants, because then you'll actually gain experience points to level up sooner. If you're a farmer, you get like 60 points, I believe. You get 60 experience points everything, every time you harvest. And if you harvest in Oliver's Garden, you get like 12 experience points. It used to be like 250, but they nerfed it down by five times, so it's not as fun anymore. So a few of my friends have also left playing it because of that too. Okay, so we had a harvested tomato plant. Boom, harvested. Now it says go to the seed store. By the way, once you harvest the tomato plants, you'll get five seeds and you'll get five of the plants of tomatoes. Same thing goes for chili, oregano, and wheat. For lemons, you only get three, and you three lemons and two seeds, I think. And then for the other ones, it's also like different amounts. Now it says buy a water bucket. Okay. Oh, for the soup, we're going to need a water bucket. That's true. Bought the water bucket to the market. It's also going to ask us to harvest a wheat seed later on. I'm not sure. I'm just going to plant it just in case because wheat takes 20 minutes to grow. So I don't want to wait that long. Okay, it's going to take me forever to go back, so let's hop rooms once again. Market, and then what is it asking for? Buy some salt. It only costs two bucks, so that's okay. Cook a sauce. You'll need to use an oven. But once we're done with this quest, we can start doing trades, which will make it a lot faster if I can also use my other main character to help me out. It's best to become a chef for this before you cook it, so that you also do get some experience points. Here's the oven. You click that. So... What do we have to do? It says to cook a sauce. So the sauce that we have to cook is this one right here. So I have three tomatoes, well I have five of them. I have a water bucket and have salt, so I can cook that sauce. Next it's going to ask us to give the sauce to Karina. So let's head right back over and also in your profile, at least when you're a chef it's going to say that you cooked one dish. If you're not a chef and you click the oven and you cook it, then it will not show up on here either. So it's best if you actually do become a farmer slash chef. Now I just need one spicy sauce. Can you make me one? Alright, so luckily our first random seed that we did plant... Oh, it's asking me to plant another seed in the house. Okay, so by seed, they don't mean one of the seeds you already have. You need to go and buy a random seed and then plant that in your house. Buy a seed. It's made. Let us buy ourselves another garden. Finished. So now we have to plant the seed in our house. 
Let me get that seed out. Random seed, use, plant. That's going to ask me to harvest a pepper plant, which is this, so I harvest that. Oh no, I forgot to call farmer though. Oh well. Now to cook a spicy sauce. We need a salt and we need a water for this. This come again in the morning, what it actually, actually means is come again in the late afternoon time. So let's do that. Yes, thank goodness I do have some tomatoes saved up, else I would have had to plant those. And I have my salt, transfer to bag. Let's buy salt and cook. And now we had to bring it over back to Karina. While you're gone, I realize that I need more wheat to make dough. Can you bring me some wheat? So that does come in handy. Yeah. And I need an employee. Yay! Thanks for helping me again. Finish those pizzas. Awesome. So we got some quest points and experience points as well. And we can also buy ourselves our pizza now. This is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye, guys. Keep it up. As always, peace.